We're here at H-E-L-N-L Stadium in Gehenna, Texas. Owner GM and coach Scary Clones wants his newly completed art installation to get the crowd pumped. But most are just wondering why a bunch of naked painted orcs are gyrating in the lobby. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle. The Malice Hellboys. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> if you like your cocktail cold, your soup hot, and your steak still mooing, then you're going to love seeing mutants not cold, their brains turn into hot lava soup, and their bodies strewn about the field, lying still and barely moving. MFL game day is on the air. Oh, you just made me hungry, Grim. I'm going to go get some of extra crispy mutant finger strips. Hey, get me a full slab of broken mutant ribs while you're there. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he first through the end zone for six. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Gonna make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. And it's first and ten. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And that 
that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down and five. Ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other half. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and six. Second down and seven. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Jars the ball loose and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. The 10. They might catch him. Move you fat little mutant. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's Koopa Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork down than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes 
right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Third down and ten. target more often and it's first and ten caught for the first down and it's first and ten up eight yards on a strong run second down and two that ball just sliced through the defense like butter i wish defenses were made out of butter that'd be fantastic nicely done for a first down <laughs> First down and five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. A good 
good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The off. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second and eight to go. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down, and, well, good luck. Shit house. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. something going here first and four touchdown oh he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers <laughs> well there's your answer bricks i know i hate those zebra men First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Oh, and the ref just bought himself one more play of life with some moves that would put some of our Hall of Famers to shame. Oh, good. That gives me time to get odds on him. Someone give me a phone. First down in a mile, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> First down and forever. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down in a mile. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. 
That was equal parts great run and bad defense. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of ten yards. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Perfect pass and the score! They want more points, so they're going for two. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid, roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and two. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Wrestling? It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here, and these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Brick started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And that'll bring up third and one. Quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Hey, that defense. Gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. <laughs> and 
And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. You know, letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope for him. First them, then vampires, then mermaids. Then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down and a mile. Chunk of yards on that pass play. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and forever. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects, Bricks. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. Yeah. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on Bill. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, kiss can say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and a very lot. Do that again, Bricks. I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it.
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, nice hit. And that'll be second down and four. And that is caught for a first down. First and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick, and anything he touches gets flopping. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. <laughs> This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and four. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor First and ten. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven.
quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second and three. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. Third down and eight. Man, this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. The way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten and he'll pick up seven yards on that play second and three First and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and nine. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Hey, you kill a rap. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Third down, and never going to happen. And the defense. 
defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. A short but possibly essential field goal here. Short but essential. That's what they call bricks. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. something going here and it's first and ten Second down and long. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, top off my drink. When did I do that? Second down and a lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Third down and six. First and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and two. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> Boom! The Hellboys come away with a big win today. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a defeated team should get a participation award because I, I try really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the scotch, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.
Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.